That means be where you are. Bring all of your stuff right now into this right now. Not into 15 minutes ago, not into three minutes ago, but into right now. Because our experience is that God is a right now God. And we might have had a need that we identified five minutes ago or 10 minutes ago. But right now, the opportunity is to worship and to offer great gratitude to God for this very present moment that was not promised and we made it to. Praise the Lord on the different highways, different ways in which we have come this morning, this afternoon. Anything could have happened. Anything could have happened. And probably some things did. And we are here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, I just want to start this morning, this afternoon, I keep doing that, <laughs> um, with our affirmations. And what I want to ask you to do um, uh, is... As we say these affirmations, I want you to uh, say them to make them yours, right. to own them. Because one of the things about affirmations is that the more we say them, you know how we, we a lot of us have come from interactions with family and communities that where the language has been abusive and has been dismissive and has helped, has fed into us that we're invisible. But what I want to offer you today is the opportunity to take some information in and repeat it unto yourself that is healing and brings presence and brings groundedness and relationship with God, but mostly with yourself. That self that has been uh, misidentified, that self that feels separate from God, that self that feels almost not worthy or not worthy at all, just take these, these words in and hold them close. Bring them into yourself. So here we go. Let's repeat after me. I awaken the indwelling presence of, of consciousness and God. And we're going to try that one one more time. I awaken the indwelling presence of consciousness and God. I am fully me wherever I go. I will not be limited by my own fears and insecurities. I am not my diagnosis. I take responsibility for creating healthy and safe boundaries for my life. Let's say that first part one more time. Just the first part, because that's, I, I think that's a part of, of relationship as we become more relationship with Christ, that we take responsibility. So we're going we're gonna, to, we're gonna, let's just say that part one more time. I take responsibility. Yes. Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. Hallelujah. Next, I take action. In my recovery, health, fitness, and healthy eating. My health, my fitness, and healthy eating. Praise the Lord. I am at my best to serve others after I have served myself. Hmm, let's try that one one more time. That feels kind of good, right? Not, for, not to be selfish, but to be ready. 
right? Not to be selfish, but to be ready to go, to do, to be loving, to open arms to one another. So I take, I am at my best to serve others after I have served myself. I am at my best to serve others after I have served. Now, this one right here is personal for me because I don't have any, well, I won't say any, but my financial discipline is growing. How about I say that? So, this one is really personal for me. So, if you can, so if it's not for you, support me and say it really with some fervor. I am financially disciplined and all my needs are met. Praise the Lord. I am loved and accepted by God. I stand firmly in faith. I know God will come through for me. Now speak these things in my life. I speak these things over my life and name them to be so now and forevermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe these are the words that God would want us to speak unto ourselves and to each other. Words of plenty, words of growth, words of care and love, of not just somebody out there, but of our human condition. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So in this moment, I want to take the opportunity to say welcome to all of our visitors. Um, if you are a first-time visitor or uh, have not been here in a long while, if you could uh, stand or let us know by any means necessary <laughs> who you are. Amen. Amen. Blessing. Amen. Amen. Well, we welcome you. Uh, we have visitors from UCC Wise Conference. Okay. Okay. Well, welcome. Welcome to Robin Kimster. Kimster. Amen. And Carrie Hine. Amen. Welcome. Welcome. All right. And just so that you know, we here at City of Refuge are a ministry of restoration. We are intentionally radically inclusive, welcoming all persons regardless of race, labor. <laughs> wow, labor. <laughs> Come on, we do that. Color ancestry, age, gender, sexual, or affectional orientation. We celebrate the creator's diversity. We worship Christ and we welcome persons from all faith paths which harmonize with the ministry of Jesus Christ. Reverend Dr. Yvette Flunder, our presiding bishop of City of Refuge, amen, amen. And the pastoral team and the entire congregation, thank you for worshiping with us. And please come again. And that's to you online as well. Amen. We thank you guys for, for uh, zooming in or however it is you're catching us online. And we welcome you. We thank you for your presence. And at this time, we're going to do our welcome and love on each other the way that we do that. Amen. Amen. Remember to, to make sure it's okay if you hug somebody. Right? Ask first. Amen.
Bless the Lord, all the love, right? All the love. Amen. Amen. So today we are in awareness of the insanity and of domestic violence. We have, um, I'm sure there are many of us in the room and online who have been touched in some way, form, or fashion of the impact and devastation that any type of violence, and in particular, domestic violence. This is uh, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And right now, what I want to ask you to do is to stand. Um, we're going to do um, a uh, domestic violence prayer. Praise the Lord. Amen. We know surrounded by violence and cruelty, we're going to pray for a world to be restored and for all whom God has made. Praise the Lord. God of healing. Hear the cries of all those who are isolated, silenced, numb, and unable to trust. Give them clarity in the midst of confusion, deliverance from danger, healing from hurt, and help amidst their helplessness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For little children whose surroundings hide them from your love and beauty, keep them out of harm's way amidst the anger, rage, coercion, and betrayal of abusers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of mercy, broaden our understanding of violence in all its forms, emotional, verbal, physical, sexual, economic, spiritual, and psychological. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pour out upon them your guidance and wisdom as they are forced to make difficult decisions on the part of themselves and their families. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, everyone. O healer of Galilee, you are afflicted in the sufferings of your people and are full of compassion and tender mercy. Lord, in your hear our prayer. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of God. We thank God. We're going to ask the um, praise and worship team to come up. Amen. And we have, a, we have a saying that if you can, rest on your feet, your real feet. If you can't, lift your heart and bring your presence and your joyful celebration to the praise and worship time. Amen? Praise the Lord. Charlene, amen. Praise and worship time. Amen. Bless the Lord. We, so, so we have a little bit of a surprise coming. That's why there's a little buzz. So, but we're not going to get caught up in that because we came here to serve God. Amen. To worship and honor the God that keeps us when we don't even know how to be kept. When we don't have a desire to be kept. There is God. Right? Amen. Amen.
Lord. Do you really love him today? Put your hands together if you love the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Put your hands together, everybody. Oh, lift our hands and give him glory. We come and lift our hands and give him praise. Everybody sing. We come to clap our hands and give him glory. We come to clap our hands and give him praise. Give him glory. To lift our hands and send up Judah. Oh, oh, oh. We come to lift our hands and give him praise. Give him glory. Give him glory. We come to lift our hands and give him praise. Give him glory. Give him glory. We come to lift our hands and give him praise.
show he will do for you what he's done for me. Worship, worship, worship. I give you praise. Don't let me worship God by myself because I know I'm not the only one. For you are my righteousness. Righteousness. Oh, I would worship you. Special guests prepare to come in. You know, uh, the praise team hit it home today because they said hallelujah. And you know, I don't know about you, but I've learned to say hallelujah over almost every circumstance. Good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. So I'm going to ask you to say hallelujah. I, I, uh, uh, I need you to get it down in your spirit, not my spirit, but your spirit. Hallelujah. I, I don't care what it looks like. I don't even care what it feels like. But I need you to say, hallelujah. Let's let the enemy know it's still hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deep down in your soul, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, we, we've had some circumstances this week. We've had loved ones who's gone on home, and we've had children who acted like they'd and lost their whole mind. We've had partners and wives and husbands who've lost their whole mind. 
but it's still hallelujah anyhow. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you, but I find strength when I say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are all, yeah, come on here, pastor. It really could have been a different story. But here we are together. Here we are together. Giving God glory, praise, and honor because God deserves all the praise and all the honor. It all belongs to him. So these little sad faces that I see, you might as well get give God the glory. That's how I fix it. I don't know how you're going to fix it. But I came here to give God the glory. I came here to give him all the praise. What did you come here for? Hey, what did you come here for? is high name. You know he's worthy, right? You know he's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bless his high name. Oh, it's another day's journey and I'm so glad about it. Bless his name. Bless his name. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We have so much to be grateful for. Oh, yes. So much to be grateful for. Oh, yes. I don't know about you, but my soul is rejoicing. And this has not been an easy week for a lot of us, but my soul is rejoicing and my soul still says yes yes to the Lord yes hallelujah oh I feel something up in this house today glory to God I don't know about you but I expect to be blessed I expect to be blessed and it's that expectancy that's got me just ready to run up and down the this morning Amen and glory to God. Glory to God. You know, we had birthdays this week. We've had deaths this week. We've had some struggles and some joys this week. But here we are. Here we are together. Come on here. Here we are. Glory be to God. As the musicians are pulling it together, because uh, <laughs> but we also need to say happy birthday to a special lady right now. It's another year and another journey, and you know, so many of her friends and loved ones didn't make it, but look who's sitting here. Happy birthday, Pastor Ann. She's our pastor. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy
Girl, I hope you know we love you. <laughs> and we're so glad that you chose us as a church home. <laughs> amen, amen. So, you know, as you leave the sanctuary this afternoon, don't, don't be ashamed to put a little love token in her hand. She would never ask you for anything, but I'm brave and bold, so... You know, show her that you love her. Show her that you love her the best way you can, even if it's just a hug. She loves hugs, too. So I am not sure. Not yet? Okay. So how, what do you want to do now? Because I did. Okay, come on, Pastor. So I'm grateful to share this week of birthdays with Mother Yvonne Evans, whose birthday was on the 17th. And Brother Leonard Connor, Deacon Leonard Connor, is not in the house. But we thank God for him making 65 years. The doctor said something else. But he's yet here to offer praise. So for all of these wonderful October people, we give God thanks and we thank God for having a city of refuge to call home. This is my family and I would not be anywhere else because I have been loved so excellently in this place and I love you all. Thank you, Mother Mary, for coming out last night and celebrating with me. We had a grand time with Sister Aaliyah Hall in Leah's place and she's turning 21 today. So amen for the Libras, amen. So and for our dear Pastor Terry, we know her mom transitioned yesterday and she's still yet here. Amen. We love you. Amen. And ironically, my mother spoke to me over the last few days and told me I'm already there uh, what, what you see what, when I'm gone, when, what you see will just be what I've left behind. And my father, who is not religious or spiritual at all, said something about, I'd like this to be part of what we do. And he said something about, I can only remember this part, that uh, we, God welcomes everybody into the kingdom of God. My father doesn't speak God language at all. <laughs> so look at God. And the fact that I can be as composed as I am today is nothing but a testimony of what God has done and can do if we put him first and we let yes. him help us. Yes. Amen? Amen. So, so, so on that note, some of you may not know, but Pastor Ann is celebrating a milestone. My sister of 1958, and Robin. <laughs> Pastor Ann turned 60 yesterday. Amen. And so I want to thank Refuge on the Whole for keeping a big secret. So what we planned is a nice dinner after service in celebration of our Pastor Ann, because we are very grateful that you are in this family. So on behalf of the Refuge family, all of the leadership, and uh, everything that's happening today, it's in celebration of you. And we even have some coins for you here. So know that we love and appreciate you. Know that we know you're very, you have so much humility with, I don't know if they have something bigger than a capital H, but you just do and you do and you do very quietly. You do very silently and behind the scenes. And that's to me what leadership is about, serving. It's about what you do from here, from your heart. And I can't thank you enough uh, for being who you are, for teaching me and for the opportunity to work together. You're just amazing. Love you. Pastor Ann, I'm going to channel you now. 
what I'm about to do is some Pastor Ann stuff. This is the kind of stuff she does, those of you who know her well. <clears throat> so, you know, I looked around for cards, but while I was looking at the cards, I said, no, don't do a card, do a Pastor Ann. <laughs> so, what I have here is I took this pop quiz. Okay. This is Life Skills 101. Professor Jehovah Jireh. This is his class. And this is a pop quiz for Sunday, October 21st. Okay. On the following answer page, complete the equation below. Provide a detailed explanation to support your answer. Here's the equation. Love equals blank equals love. Yes. Uh -huh. So I took the quiz. No, I didn't grade it. I got an A plus. The answer I put is love equals Ann Jefferson equals love. It's correct. And my explanation, she exudes every attribute that is at the core of what love is, i.e. compassion, understanding, Patience, warmth, dedication, charity, generosity of spirit, commitment, and a big old heart. And my grade is A plus. And let's see, the professor says, excellent answer, very good explanation. However, your particular answer really didn't need to be supported. The name alone would have sufficed. Good afternoon, Refuge. Oh, come on now. Good afternoon, Refuge. Come on now. You woke up this morning. Good afternoon, Refuge. You can see me. You can hear me. Good afternoon, Refuge. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, Refuge. Good afternoon, Refuge. Good afternoon, Refuge. Good afternoon, Refuge. Good afternoon, Refuge. So we have a very special guest. I want to say he came over. He came by to say happy birthday to Pastor Ann, but that's a piece of it. We have uh, Pastor John P. Key in the house this afternoon. Come on, Refuge! Come on, Refuge! Come on, Refuge! Come on, Refuge! Pastor John P. Key is here! Come on, Refuge! Come on, Refuge! I made it home, I made it home. Yeah. Jesus is real, Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. Oh, let's have a good time in here. Jesus, Jesus is real. I'm feeling low, nowhere to go. Jesus comes along and it makes me stronger. Oh, I know. Oh, Jesus is real. I can feel it. I can feel him in my heart. Feel him in my feet. God, 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 God. Oh, 
refuge. Oui. He real. He is real. Lord is sovereign. 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 I tried. He is real. Late one Saturday. He is real. Refuge. He is real. I know he is. He is real. He is real. He is real. He is real. Ah. I know. Oh, 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 I know. city and, and you that have traveled before know you're not supposed to stop anywhere within a 250 mile radius but I'm 56 years old you don't tell me what to do there is no way I was coming back. I've been seven times I've tried to get in here if the bishop was gone I told her the other night late night 2 30 in the morning so, well, I'm not going to be there, John Jr. She called me John Jr. because she knew me when I was skinny. <laughs> she said, I'm not, I said, Bishop, this time I don't care. 
You're not going to stop me. And they told me to call. Who was I supposed to call? Because I never called you. And the reason I didn't call you is because I wasn't going to have you tell me I couldn't come. Yeah. Well, maybe we need to reschedule. She'll tell you I did not call her. I think I left a message one time. I got scared. I didn't because I was going to come to refuge today. It didn't matter. I was going to come anyhow. I want you to know I love you. I love who you are and what you do outside the four-wall structure. I am a part of your ministry. You have no idea. You have no, you have no idea how much what you do structured my ministry in North Carolina. You know, you, you, I hope you don't take it lightly. Listen, many artists come. You have to take an offering up for them. And all. If you try to give me some money, you will offend me and I will run out the building. Because I need you to know why I came here. I came here to love on you, for loving on the community, for going outside the box, for not judging people. Come on here. So I need you to know, today I'm here, and I promise you, I said even to the group and the choir musicians, this is not, free. This is not your trip, this is my trip. I said, if y'all want to go with me, you can. I was not going to let nothing or nobody stop me. I need my gifts. Is Jeanette in here yet? She's not here. I come bearing gifts. Yes. Um, I'm going to sing a few more songs. And somebody said, well, don't let them video and they won't post. Video all you want to. Post everything. Post. And look, look, look. Don't call me John P. Key. Listen, don't call me John P. Key. I'm your Uncle John. You hear me? Uncle John stopped by today to be a blessing. I guess we could sing another song. While we're waiting. Um, I got a song I wrote. Uh, You don't know my story. You don't know my story. You don't know the things that I've come through. Yeah. You cannot imagine. Can't imagine. The pain and trials I have to end. You don't know. You don't know my story. You don't know my story. You don't know the day he said. Strongholds and the walls that sell. Listen, I'm delivered in my story. Life and favor upon me. Keep on me up. Yeah. How many have your you have your own story? Folk might not like it, but you got your story. Say, I'm delivered. I'm delivered in my story. In my story. Yes. Life and favor upon me brought me out. Oh my! Let's say it again. Say, I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Here's my story. Life and favor upon me brought me out. Oh my 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 my. Yeah, break it way down for me. Now, now, y'all sound better in here than you do. <laughs> Listen, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Here's what's cool about your story. When Samuel and Jesse were in the house and they were they, they, they knew their purpose was to anoint the king and, and look at what they did they went to all the ones that looked like a king Eliab he had been in the weight room he had been at 24 hour fitness but, but they checked him out but he, he wasn't the one he wasn't so they went in the field and they got the cute boy, the ruddy one. The one that didn't look like he had been lifting weights. But he had another gift. They found him serving. 
That's why I love the fact that there are those that look at you and they might judge what you've gone through or where you've been, but they don't know your story. If y'all can't celebrate none today, you ought to take a moment and do what David did. Pat yourself on the back and thank God for your story. Because if some folk really knew shh, what you came out of, what you've been dealing with most of your life, some of the hardships and the struggles, they might ask to sit somewhere else. But as long as you are true to your story, ain't nobody saying amen yet. As long as you are true to your story, you don't owe now nobody, now nobody. I'm from the country. That means anybody an explanation for what God is still doing in your life. Y'all hear me? I'm here on a mission. Uncle John loves you. But Uncle John wants to leave this building. Know that your heart is encouraged. Are you hearing me? So if I stay in Oakland a few days and you see me in Walmart. Tap me on the shoulder and say, you don't know my story. And I'll look back at you and say, you don't know mine either. But we all have a reason to glorify and smile. Come on here. I got another verse for you. This one right here. It says, you don't know it. You don't know it. Let me tell it. Let me tell it. Life, Life in favor upon me brought me up. I like this song. Hey, I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Here's my story. Here's my story. Yeah. Life in favor upon me brought me out. Can I get a witness sing to you? Now I need you to do me a favor. Refuge. Stop playing. All y'all can slang. I just declared it over your life. You are a vocalist in the name of Jesus. You are a premier vocalist. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Uh, premier vocalist. Sing it with me. Say, you don't know my story. You don't know my story. <laughs> now, you guys say it like you mean it. Come on. Say, you don't know my story. You don't know my story. You better sing, nephew. Say it. You don't know my story. You don't know my story. Y'all, we sound good in here. Oh, God. You don't know my story. You don't know my story. Break it down. Now, look at me. Look at me. You ain't telling your story unless you use your hands. I don't even know what this means, but this is something I see when folk get mad in North Carolina now they say, look here, let me I don't even know what it means, but I'm going to start doing it because that means I'm serious <laughs> but you ain't serious unless you using that finger you got to use that finger every now and then so we're going to break it down for real right here like this, break it down for me say, you don't know my story you don't know my story Y'all sound good at it. Say it again. Say, you don't know my story. You don't know my story. Uh, Y'all got to say it with a real attitude. Uh, try this one right here. Say, you don't know my story. You don't know my story. Now, wait, wait, wait. Bring it down again. Now, now you sung it just now because I told you to. I need you to say it like you got a testimony behind that story. Look at somebody say, You don't know my story. You don't know my story. Say it one more time. You don't know my story. You don't know my story. Say it like this. Say, you don't know my story, no. 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 Oh, 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 oh. My story, you don't know my story. 
said again, you don't know my story. You don't know my story. Oh, life and favor. Life and favor upon me. Life and favor. Life and favor upon me. Life and favor. Life and favor upon me. Life and favor upon me. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Oh. Here's my story. Life and favor upon me. He brought me up. Oh. I'm free today. Oh, yeah. I'm delivered. Oh. Here's my story. Yeah. Life and favor upon me. He brought me just one more time, everybody sang it. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Yeah. Here's my story. Yeah. Life and favor upon me. He brought me out. Woo! Sit down. I need a little more time. Can I please have a few more minutes? I can help my step. My Shirley, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Get up. Stand up, sweetie. I love you so much. You have no clue. I'm going to take you back a few years. A few years back, when I first started out, I was a little young kid from Carolina. And Uncle Ed had embraced me and bought me in the family. And you used to always encourage me. You know I'm telling the truth. All right, don't start crying, sir. I want to thank you because that, it meant the world to me. I didn't have money. I didn't have what some of the other artists and musicians had. But you used to always throw your arms around me and encourage me to be me. I thank you for that. I do. I do. I got to bless so many people in the family and tell them thank you. But I wanted this moment more than anything else because those times in our lives, when they mean something, they stay with us forever. So, this week, um, I want you to do me a favor. I want, it's what when this bishop come home tonight? Go to dinner on me, and I want y'all to have a ball. I mean, it's going to be called a John Peaky. You know what's funny? I used to call myself, y'all might be a couple of years older than me, but now I'm Uncle John. I'm the oldest. Because it's, listen, because it's my time to take care of you. So I want y'all to go out. It's going to be the Uncle John dinner. And y'all make some noise in here right now. Jenny, you'll do it. Go, go love on her for me. Tell Bishop, since she was gone, you get the change after the dinner. You get to keep it. Oh, please make noise, everybody. Come on. You know, sit down, sit down, if I give you some more money. You know, I think I sing like you. In every song I do, I have my Shirley moment. I'm, I'm going to show you what it is in a few minutes. Yeah, I have my Shirley moment. I also want to do something special here. Can I hold the plaque, please? I want Pastor Jefferson to stand up.
stand right there. I just want to love on you. You have no idea what I'm getting ready to do. How, don't not like a clue. She, she's right there. Stand right there. And the reason I'm doing it, leave her alone. Let her stand right there. I want to stand. The reason I'm doing this is I, I did my research. I found out some things about you. I found out that you too have a heart for God's people. So today, we're giving you what we call the Partaker Award. Presented to Pastor Ann Jefferson for outstanding leadership and anointed kingdom building. Presented this 21st day, October year 2019. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the words of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain. Jeanette, you hold this. Where's my son? Trudell? Where's Trudell? Not on him. Come here, stand beside you. Now, this envelope is for you. So next week, every time you decide you want lunch, there's enough money in this envelope for you. So you're eating Uncle John lunch all week long. Go give her the biggest hug. I mean, the, you give her this too. Give her the biggest hug you can muster. Y'all clap your hands. Come on. No, I love you. I love you with my heart. Treat her like a big old hug. Like a hug, hug. <laughs> Somebody said, well deserved. Wow. I, I want to dedicate a song to you right quick. Hey, let's do, we're going to dedicate. We're going old school. We're going old school for her. We're going to go old school because these little young people, they don't know about this right here. Let's take them to Chicago. Let's see what we're going to do. Let's take them to Chicago and to Charlotte. And keep going till I stop you. All right, this is when you had Jerry Curl and you didn't care. You didn't care who was looking at you. And you tossed your hair. It, it was short. You still tossed it. Just, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs>
let me say this incarcerated Tell on me in your blood Set me free rest of my days I, I got it I got it I Should I keep setting my soul on fire? Whatever it is, whatever it is, it won't let me go. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? Make me dance in the midnight hour. Oh, gives me power Whatever it is it is Yeah, whatever it is It won't let me Yeah Hold on Said it makes me Love my enemies And it makes me When they say I'm insane, it won't let me. Oh, my peace, yeah. My life worthwhile, yeah. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it won't let me. Everybody say, come on. If you want to know where I'm going, where I'm going to. I'm going up yonder. Going up yonder.
could have been me. Elders with no, 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 no food and no clothes. All out alone without one friend or just another number with a tragic end. But you didn't see fit to learn out of these, none of these things be every day by your power. You keep on keeping me. For every mountain, every body, I gotta say You keep on blessing me time and time For all I Chicago.
sit down. We love you. We love you. Wow. Wow. We love you so much. Don't y'all forget about me. Keep us in prayer. Between now and around February, we have almost 52 cities on this tour. Amen. And I just wanted to stop. I, I, you don't know. I'll probably have me another moment on it, but just to be able to get here and tell you how much I love you. And I appreciate you. Charlene, where you at, baby? That's my boo right there. I love her so much. I want to thank you in front of everybody for being an ambassador who's not seeking for credit. I want to thank you and where's Deacon at? I know I can't see. She left out. They mean the world to me. They come to my city. I love on them and I take care of them till Charlene's phone goes out and you can't get her. But I love you. I, I love you with a genuine love. You know I do. Like Sister Shirley, you have always been there to inspire and to encourage me. Um, Jeanette, I don't even know what account, I don't know what account you have. You have another check somewhere? Write Charlene a check for $1,000 right now. I want to pay some bills in your house. Yes. Because Charlene's going to labor whether she get a check or not. Y'all know it. I love you just like that. And you know I do. There's nothing. That thousand ain't nothing. You know there's nothing you could ask me for and I wouldn't do for you. And I just appreciate you for being one of. The, watch this. Watch this. Catch this. I appreciate you for being one of the last genuine ones. Yeah. They're, they're not like they used to be. And I appreciate you so much. Amen. Did Jeanette leave us? Oh, she's right there. Uh, do I have another envelope that I was going to give away? Do I? Yes. <laughs> Why are you giving? I'm over here, right here. here. Amen. I want to do something. Um, let me give a little more and I'll leave. You ever heard a preacher say that? <laughs> let me give it a little bit more. Yeah, right here. Right. Watch this. I want you to do me another favor. Sister Shirley, Bishop is not here and I wanted her to be here. I wanted to come on the day she was here. But when she gets home, I want you to give her a thousand dollars too. Just for laboring in the house. Y'all give your bishop a hand. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I love you. I did what I came to do. Amen. I tell Lil Rufus, where, is, where are all those kids I saw a few minutes ago? T tell Lil Rufus, come here. Is he ready? They're in children's church. No, they're right back. Wait, Rufus, wait, 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 Rufus, wait. Uh-huh. I saw y'all standing in the hallway, and I saw you all looking. Matter of fact, Where's Tamborina? Go to, it's about mm, maybe 20 of them. Listen, go get free everything, free, free everything, free um, books, little roof of stuff. Help her, Calvin. Should they help him pass out to the babies? Yeah. Yep, yep. When you talk to Bishop, I want y'all to say he came and he showed out. Open your mouth. We're going to rock this last song before I go. Bow your heads. Father, we bless you here. We thank you for just being good and kind. 
and loving us and giving us a heart for each other. Bless this house. Got somebody here is going through. They're, they're struggling with something. But they have the audacity to continue to smile. So we just believe the word of God that says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Somebody's not feeling good in their body now. I ask now through the power of the Holy Ghost that you heal here. Strengthen here. And then give us a mind for somebody else to love somebody else in a nation that struggles with who they are so glad we're here today we know who we are rain on this house open doors open doors open doors open doors whatever the true vision is for this house make a way out of your way expansion building expansion building whatever it is it's already done and we thank you now that it is so that the things we decree with our mouths are established in heaven and established here they're already ours in Jesus name clap your hands everybody somebody just say I made it out all right I'm going to rock a little country song for you before we leave. Say it again. Say, I made it out all right. Say, thank you because you never leave me nor forsake me. Say, thank you because you didn't let my enemies take me. Come on, make some muscle. Say, I'm still in the fight. I made it out all right. Let's rock it. I got to go. I love you. Woo! Ah, uh, clap like you're from North Carolina. I made it. I made it out. I made it out all right. I made it out all right. For the kids. I made it out. Let the kids come up front. Come on, babies. I made it out all right. Watch this, watch this. If y'all clap your hands, Rufus will come out. Come on, Rufus. You done tore the church up. Just clap, yo. Clap, 
your hands with me. We'll pray for it. I made it. I made it out all right. I made it out all right. I made it. I made it out all right. I made it. I made it out all right. I made it. I made it out all right. Now just clap your hands. you come here Julia everybody clap yo Everybody say it, come on. I made it. 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 Yes, I did. I made it. The storm and the rain. I made it. I made it. I made it. The heartache and pain. I made it. Say, I made it. I made it. Try something. I made it. But I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it. I'm standing in the need of prayer. Not my mother, father, sister. I love you. Oh, brother. How many believe prayer still works? Come on. I love you so much. Thank you again. It is me. Oh God. 
Everybody sang it to me. It's me. Oh, oh, oh. I sound like Shirley right now. How many have a miracle coming? You believe it? You believe it? You believe it? Sing this. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. Get real anointed. Say, it's on the way. It's on the way. Bring it right down. I'm going for real. I'm for real this time. Some of you couldn't sing that because your faith wouldn't let you. Your faith wouldn't let you say it's on the way. Because your faith is so crazy. That there's no doubt in your spirit man at all. So instead of singing it's on the way. You want to sing this with Uncle John. This is what you want to sing. Already here. Where my people at? Already here. I love you. 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 Already, already here. Already here. It is me. Sit again. Sit again with me. Sit again with me. Sit again with me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, beautiful. <laughs> I gotta go. I love y'all. We're going to wait for Pastor Ann to come back. She uh, doesn't realize there's more. <laughs> Did you enjoy her surprise? <laughs> Amen. Deacon, when I talked to Jeanette this morning, which is Pastor Peaky's uh, assistant, and he was wondering, um, is it still okay to come? I think we made a good decision, don't you? <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we wanted to do this for Pastor Ann. And again, there is more. She had to go hug him. And I was telling her, you're not supposed to leave the sanctuary. There's more. There's more. There's more. The children um, have a presentation that they'd like to make. And we wanted all of you to know that you're invited to dinner. So don't try to leave here hungry. Amen. Our cooking committee has been cooking for two days so we got some food for y'all so when pastor ann brings her happy self back in here 
We'll continue the service. She thought she was actually going to preach today. So this was supposed to be a secret. So we fooled her, which is not easy to do because she's in everything and everybody's business. So, so we uh, told, let her believe. Go ahead and write your sermon. Go ahead and do what you do. Pray and ask the Lord to give you a word. But we had already got a word in terms of what was going to happen today. So again, she is the most difficult person to surprise. And she, <laughs> the, first, the first thing she asked me when she walked in and ready to fight, did you know anything about this? Because her whole program, you know she's program oriented. So she really thought she was going to preach today. Yeah, but you're not, just so you know. I'm using ecclesiastical privilege today. So we allowed you to go ahead and write a word and all your preparation. It wasn't in vain. The Lord will give it to you again. But you're off duty today. So come on up. The children are ready. All right. The children have a special presentation. Because this is Pastor Ann Day. Right? Amen. Happy birthday. So where are they? All right, let's let the youth come on out. And once the other presentations are done, we're going to dismiss and go eat dinner together. Oh, offering. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Yeah. All this money that was going out. <laughs> okay. So after the children, we're going to lift the offering. And then the pre other presentations, because there are more presentations, we're going to do it in the fellowship hall. We are, no, no, no. The, the youth are going to do what they're going to do, and then we're going to take the offering. Okay? <laughs> okay. All right. So go ahead, you. Royal. 
loyalty. I'm purity. I'm purity. I'm fearfully. I'm fearfully. said, God knows I love that song. At this time, we're going to go ahead and, and lift our offering. And after that, I, we, I guess we will let Pastor Ann say some final words before we... <laughs> She's such a control queen. <laughs> so at this time, the ushers are on the floor, and our deacon is in the back. So if you have to swipe, we're ready for you. Uh, if you need an envelope, the ushers are on the floor to serve you. This has been a wonderful day celebrating a special lady. A special lady. You know, sometimes it's what we love about Pastor Ann is that she doesn't realize how special she really is to us. She really doesn't understand the depth of our love for her. So we appreciate you. And we love you. And you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> so the ushers are on the floor at this time. And I think, um, uh, ushers, are we going to pass a basket? Are you going to have them walk? Okay, they, they're going to they're gonna, um, come to you. So go ahead, and we're going to give you a few minutes while Charlene plays a little something, something, and a little something, something, and while you get yourselves organized. Jeanette? Thank you so much. Thank you. You're very welcome. It was nice talking to you this morning. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Susu has been in charge of this service today, so any, any, any whippings that happens today, I need you to whip Deacon Cynthia and Susu. Because uh, they were the ones that pulled me in on this. <laughs> well, this is why. Great. So, did you want to say something? I just want to do the announcements because um, we're going to send them out this week. But while you're here and while we're writing on our envelopes, I'm going to uh, read a few of them. How about I do that? Amen. 
So first of all, we have just an awareness uh, that the Media Hive at CORE, we have uh, deadlines that any announcements that need to be done for a current Sunday need to be in on Thursdays by 6 p.m. We thank you for that. Amen. This week at Refuge on Wednesday, we have community prayer, 630, room 113. On Thursday, we have youth and young adult choir rehearsal at 7 p.m. And then on Saturday, this week is our word of mouth food pantry from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., as well as the lupus support group from 10.30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. Again, this week, we have our word of mouth pantry. Show up. Bring somebody with you that's in need. Take some groceries to somebody that's in need. Amen. Amen. Uh, again, we have a lupus support group, Saturday, October 27th, 10.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please contact Pastor Shura Ward for more information. Okay, it is 12.30. It's two hours. It's not that long. It's 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Amen. Refuge and friends in community. Amen. Tonight at Greater Cooper AME Zion, 1420 Myrtle Street, Northern California Chapter of the Gospel Music Workshop of America and the Old School Gospel Choir under the direction of Minister Charlene Moore. Please go out and support. Gather yourselves, get you some food and everything, and then head on over and support our folks. Also this week, Northern Cal presents its first fall revival, Thursday and Friday nights. Long time since we had a revival, huh? How about that? How about that? We might need that in our, in our energy. Uh, it's Thursday and Friday nights, October 25th and 26th, from 6.45 to 9 p.m., hosted at Harmony Baptist Church, 4113 Telegraph Avenue, Oakland, California. All right, this is our own... Uh, uh, lay Pastor um, Ilana Bowles, Vision of Hope Project, Put the Guns Down. This is a free event. It's a block party. And Lana has um, brought her blessing to, the, to Oakland from Richmond. And so we want to be out there and support her as well as find out other ways to support her. She needs um, tricycles, bicycles, cash donations, things that will... Um, that uh, support our young people and that say as a community, they all belong to us. Not just the ones we know. They all belong to us. Amen? Amen. Coming up this week, uh, Sunday, October 28th, Medicare Health Fair for seniors and other beneficiaries. That must be other people who qualify. Anybody on Medicare, that's the other beneficiaries. Not if you're going to get it after they're gone. We're not talking about that. We're talking about if you qualify for Medicare right now, let's show up at the health fair, get the information, check in with our seniors. They may need a ride, amen. They may need a pickup. And Pat, check in with Pastor Tony Dunbar for further information. So we are providing transportation, City of Refuge, from the fair to the church so people can meet here. No, they can go there and then come here and, okay, that way. And then also, this is Pastor, Pastor Son's event. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Not far from the tree, huh? All right. Refuge looking ahead. Coming up for our young people and young at heart. A Halloween party. Join us Tuesday, October 30th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Treats, games, movies, and music. Um, that is definitely put on by our youth and young adult department. Amen. And there will be healthy treats as well as candy. All right. <laughs> Church anniversary. Please, please, please save the dates. Put your coins aside. Get your naps in because we're going to have a party weekend. Amen. Rest yourselves over the next few weeks. Friday, November 9th. Oh, hold on. I'll go to that one. Sorry. Uh, CORE 27th, 
year anniversary, November 9th through 11th, Sanctuary for All. Friday, November 9th, Refuge Goes Blue. Hey, Lady Lana's Blue Sugar uh, at the end of the evening, but first, wine, cheese, and chocolates. I don't know about y'all, how many churches y'all know serving wine, cheese, and chocolates for their anniversary? I'm just saying. We live real. We live real. Hello. It's a VIP reception and paint party. Not, we're not going to paint the church. Don't get tricked. It's a painting party. It's a painting event like paint and sip that happens out in the community. We're having it here in our community for us. Amen? Amen. Um, plus Jazz by Terrence Wells. All right, our very own. And Flow, Jazz and Flow. That's a good word. That's a good word. By our own, um, should I say lay pastor or the other name? Okay. Our own lay pastor, Shemian Evans. That will be from 7 to 9 in our fellowship hall. Um, and then afterwards, for those who took a good nap, you can stay for the party. We will be having food and music and spoken word featuring DJ Jack Attack, Jack Attack from 9 p.m. to midnight here in the sanctuary. We will shout in a different way. All right. Get your tickets at Eventbrite. Amen. That is available. Right. Also, um, November 11th, we're going to the movies. Not just to the movies, but to the drive-in. How about that? When's the last time you've been to the drive-in? And we go as a family. So it's real, real cool. We, get, we open up the backs of our cars and all of that. It all, um, we, we sign in and get connected to, uh, to the sound. And then we have full-on food and laughter and good times. Um, special reserve spots. We'll be going to be watching The Grinch 2018. That's the newest one. Uh, this is going to be at West Wind Solano Drive-In, 1611 Solano Way in Concord, California. That's at 6.30 p.m. And coming up on Sunday, November 18th, is our Transgender Day of Remembrance. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. We want to love on our community in all of its aspects. Amen. So show up and show out and bring love and offerings and remember those who have gone on before us who um, are praying and making ways for us. Amen. They are our ancestors. Amen. Amen. Now this is the one thing you got to know. This is what you got to know. Right? And you got to do. But what you got to know is you got to know where your, your pole place is. Right? That's what you got to do. You got to know who's on the ballot in your area. Amen. Because we all live in different places. So I want to encourage you to go to the um, Women's League of Voters website. Every single thing you need to know about where you are and who's in your district is available to you. The Women's League is tomorrow. The last day to register. If you have not registered, you can go online and register. It's like this. They, you can go on your cell phone and register. If you go, like I'm, like I'm suggesting, to the uh, womensleague.org, everything is there. They show you how to pull it up on your cell phone. You can get your, you, before you even go vote, you can get your checklist. So when you go in there to vote, it's already, you got it already laid out. It won't take you an hour. It'll take you 10 minutes. Hello. Okay, so some people should check beforehand to make sure that you are still registered at your uh, po polling place and registered to vote in general. So let's do our research. Let's show up. Let's show up. Hello? Let's take action. Hello? Christ didn't just say he loved us. He showed us, right? He shows us on a regular basis, the best thing that we can do is reciprocate that in our society and with one another. Amen? Amen. 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 Poll workers for Alameda County are needed. You can make up to $205. Now, I'm not sure how long that is for and how many hours, but that's a little nice piece of change. 
a pair of shoes or something for somebody. So Alameda County, California, acgov.org um, for poll workers. For po not this kind of poll. Not, uh, hold on, hold on. I forgot where I was. Not this kind of poll. The voting poll. Amen. 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 I know my people. Amen. I'm a part of this community. Amen. 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 So, so we want to make sure if you need a little change, I think it's just during this, this season of voting. Um, it'll be definitely throughout that week, good hours and so forth. Um, they need people and we want to be able to show up. Amen. Who knows? It could be the next best thing in your life that takes place. I'm going to turn this back over to Pastor so we can pray over the offering. All right. Well, pray and come on, Pastor Ed. Pastor Ed. The illustrious Pastor Ed. <laughs> well, I think that God has a lot of jokes. <laughs> Because I tried to get so many different preachers for this week. Everybody was out of town, or they couldn't do this, couldn't do that. I said, okay, well, here we go. And uh, I don't know, God has jokes. I just, <laughs> but um, I'm really overwhelmed. Uh, probably the very best birthday present for me this week was that Linda finally came home from the hospital and so I'm grateful uh, it has really been uh, quite a few weeks that's all I can say and so to the extent that I thought um, you know I had planned initially to do a concert and just things just didn't things life has a way of happening that is different and so by the time I got up to 60 I thought or approaching it I thought well, all I really want to do is say the things that I'm grateful for because God has been so good. And I don't really have the energy to do a big celebration. So uh, my heart is just really, really full because this is a landmark birthday. It's not one necessarily that I knew that I would see. Um, you know, I say it a lot of times uh, that... Um, so, you know, I have a lot of anxieties that I deal with as well. So, um, but I believe that God has much more for me to do. That this is not a time for stopping. And there's been so much faithfulness. And, and, and Pastor Key said it, and I want to say this to City of Refuge. Please don't underestimate who we are. We think, but we don't really know. And God is waiting for us to know who we are and to really walk and live in that. We just don't even know what God is doing through us, through you. This ministry has certainly saved my life. And I thank God for Bishop and for Mother and for this being my 26th year as a part of City of Refuge. God has brought me from a mighty, mighty, mighty uh, long way. And so for all of these surprises and Pastor Key, I just didn't even think he was, you know, coming. So, <laughs> and yes, the control queen and me said, well, what? What's he doing here? We didn't know. But God is so faithful. God is so faithful. And I can't even really express how much I love you. If I had a preach today, <laughs> because of the emphasis, the topic was telling the truth can set you free. And that's what I want to say about us as refuge, that when we live and we walk in our truth, it not only sets us free, but God has placed us to help set the world free. Don't take it for granted. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Who loves us so much and raises us up over and over and over and gives us family. I don't have siblings, but I got a whole pack of siblings. And I thank the Lord 
and I thank you so much, and um, I'm pretty speechless. That was a lot to say for being speechless, but I'm stunned. That's about all I can say, and I, I thank you. Uh, my worship and liturgy team, they are always talking to me during the week and sending this and talking about service order, and I wondered why they were so quiet. And I thought, well, is Susu on vacation already? I know she's on vacation. Like, I got to get this service order together, all kind of things in the mind. So, Pastor Phil, whatever part you had in that, that award and, and just that gifting to what a generous hearted man. God has raised us up to share liberally all, all of the gifts that we have been given. So if never before, let this be a year as the fresh wind comes in that we commit ourselves and recommit ourselves to serving God with all our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength, and to loving one another like we've never loved one another before because our lives depend upon it. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Pastor Terry, I understand that you are also a co-conspirator. And the fact the fact that you did that in the midst of your mother's own transition means the world. I know what that journey is. And so your heart of love for others and your heart for service, faithful, consistent, service here and service to your family god has got more than you can imagine and thank you thank you for your kindness you did not have to do that i wouldn't have even thought of that for all that you've been going through so i'm looking at you you see me looking at you i love you i love you thank you so much thank you so much I never thought I'd hear Pastor Ann say she's speechless. Just before we close, we are going to open the doors of the church. And if there's anybody that wants to join us today,